I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey, team, is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a really fun, interesting topic and video about uh, clan battles and strategies uh, regarding the Napoli push. And then lately in World of Warships, it's been very, very, uh, I guess, go to plan to select a bunch of Napolis and try to push. Before we get in, like, subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the supporters of the channel. We're growing pretty well and having great discussions. And uh, we can't thank you guys enough. I'd have 4,000 subscribers. We're going to do another premium giveaway. So, Let's get right to it. How do we defend against the four Napoli push or four or five? I think you can most you could do is what? One, two, three, four, five. You could do five Napolis, maybe. I think most people tend typically go three or four. But it's the most powerful thing I've seen in the game, and it's pretty dreadful. I mean, just if you haven't seen it already, defending against a bunch of Napolis is pretty, pretty horrendous and pretty difficult with the sap secondaries. High reload rate, very hard, hard, difficult armor to to pen against, and and just a bunch of them moving together with this smoke cloud or the exhaust smoke generator is pretty um, difficult. So let's talk about initial positioning and uh, let's let's see actually how this turns out. Um, this is a familiar map you guys are um, used to. You've seen this one a lot. Uh, sometimes people hate it. I like it a little bit for the Alpha Bravo push, and you also have Charlie, which is a a uh, contested uh, map as well. But what is the basic idea here is um, what our team decided to do was have we had fast destroyers, so that also for us using the French DD plan of having a Clubera Morceau as the two DDs to re quickly race ahead and uh, try to cap those points right off the bat to throw the enemy off is, um, you know, one of those strategies. And this is kind of the initial push. Now, we have no idea where these Annapolis are could, uh, push because they could easily go one of two direct, d different directions. They could do a hard push to Bravo Alpha, or they could do a really heavy push straight to Charlie and overwhelm that cap, and they already have a free cap at Bravo. So we have no idea what they're doing. We'll take a look at the render um, afterwards to to analyze it, and you can see um, what the the the, um, the end the replay ended up being, and see how it actually turned out. So what we have to, what we did was we would have uh, I'll, I'll show you guys just with the actual ship icons themselves. Me and the Clabert would race to uh, Alpha. Marceau would go to Charlie and cap that. We would have a radar cruiser such as a Petro right there to cover the radar area uh, in in that regard. And then we have a uh, Napoli pushing way out to the west here or maybe to the flanks just to protect the flank and also have a, a potential pushback if we needed rescuing to come back and rescue our um, destroyer as well. So that's kind of like that rescue option right there. The other uh, side, we had our Kremlin, which is the heavy battle ship would uh, do overwatch and can cover both alpha bravo the we had another i believe it's saint vincent move down to support our destroyer and cruiser if we need to and this is kind of that basic initial push to guard against whatever push comes our way we'll take a look at the video to see actually how it turned out how will this uh, be effective now with the reasoning uh, being in, the, in this regard so the marceau is right here giving you the option to egress back and just cover this area spot also if they do a bravo alpha push marceau can push down south and cut from behind Napoli will support in tow. Petro has the option to come in and out and use that radar to cover. Kremlin obviously has all angles of fire to Bravo Alpha. St. Vincent has the option to run um, around and cover Alpha if they need to, or egress or continue push. That is up to that option right there. Napoli, or I'm sorry, I believe this is another Napoli, I forgot, but basically this cruiser right here has any option to um, loiter around Alpha while the Club Air has the option to push forward spot to cover this area right here just to the south. You have an egress plan. You either egress back into the uh, islands and use that as cover, or if they are doing heavy Charlie push, we can push into Bravo. So that's the basic idea of that plan. It gives you multiple options. Give the DDs uh, egress plans. You have cruisers to cover the destroyers, and you have battleships to cover both Bravo and Alpha if there is a push. So let's take a look at the video and see actually how it turned out. Is, uh, I mean, it's a all right, team, I'll just let you uh, listen to the video in the background. We'll try something new, and you can kind of hear the players' calm and the coordination that we're doing, and uh, enjoy. Yeah. We faced it head on last time and lost. So I'm just right. now. So I'm going to send uh, Marceau to sea with uh, which Napoli is closest. Uh, Blood. Right. Okay. Obviously, your quick cap and C. Leg mod Kleb to A. And then spotting wide. If I'm them, I'm pushing around these islands, so I really need vision through this gap right here. Uh, Vincent, I want you going A side with the other Napoli. Um, where do I want Petro? I want to keep it balanced here. So Petro, I'm going to put you out here for now. So nose towards C, and then eventually, if they're pushing A, B, 
you're gonna push around this rock and like nose in towards A. Is that, that for petrol? Sense? Yes. No. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Vincent. Go in front of me. I'm sorry. You want the Napoli on seaside high in the water, just up between the islands and the cap? I want both Napoli's to be wide. All right, gotcha. I might Good. position. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to position the kite out of A. You know what? This is the same. I think this is the same group. Look, man, I don't know who. The, what, what? Which clan is this, man? They got his wide KZ. Okay. Yeah, I think that was the clan that did it to us last time, too. So they did BA push? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I yeah, want. Oh, that's it, then. Other, other than Petro and Kremlin, I want all of my big ships to be kited. I don't want you to have to make a gamer turn into the face of four Napolis and then it's coming. <laughs> oh, so just man. be pre-kited here. Okay, someone is out here with me. My RPF is showing this. Okay, there he is. They have one. Um, Petro, radar. probably slow up there. Just until we know if it's only one Napoli or how many. He, he's he's pushing hard. He's gonna he's gonna be so able Ripper, to... your your RPF is not wide. This Napoli's yeah. going suicide, guys. Okay, Vincent, start turning around. Other Napoli, you can you can keep your path and stay wide. I'll call you back later. Uh, they <clears> did that. remember they last time they divided. They went through the gap. Yeah, it's a, we won't we would have seen the other Napoli's. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They sent, they sent the other Napoli's through this gap. Fire Jimmy, can you radar that smoke? Concentrate fire like, that gap the right there. Yeah. Go ahead. Just the one Napoli. Punish that Napoli. Oh, he's broadside. Sure. Get him, Jim. Yeah. All right. Vincent, stay home. Stay home, Vincent. I don't want you to turn He's got a friend. There's there. another ship out there, I think, based on my RPF, just moved to his right. Concentrate fire on the designated target. You'll see up in here. Jimmy, Jimmy, j chill. Chill on that island. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to turn down south. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. That's only if they're pushing A side. Sorry. Hey, there he is, guys. You always make fun of me when I say no. When that, no one brings that many fucking Napolis, it doesn't push. That They're going to push. Yeah. yeah, Ripper, I'm turning to kite now just in case because we don't know. They could be doing some stupid middle push or something. We would have spotted him. Ripper, come back towards mid, please, a little bit. I know that Petro's there, but I was just spotted momentarily, but I don't know where from. Ah, uh, in comp. Okay. Fire on the designated yeah, All right, there they are. There they are. Okay. Are we just going to chase this Napoli? What do you want us to do out here? Um, yeah, so Petro, you can rotate to this spot now. Yeah. Napoli and DD out there, you can chase their Napoli. The if you see their BB pop up, if they're Kremlin like here, you stop, okay? Yeah. Right now, something is our PFing out there. Well, I don't know. I you think it's just him. That Napoli's got to be your close. Oh. Yeah, it is. It is. He just, right. he, it's Engine it's just weird the way it is. Wait a minute, Jimmy, you're detected. Is Napoli detecting you, or is it something else? Are you shooting? Uh, Napoli, I'm shooting. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. Just making sure. I haven't shot yet, so I'm I'm staying we're dark of him. He's turning. I'm gonna shoot him now. I got his yeah, We're uh, still missing in comp, or not in comp. Uh, Kremlin and one other Napoli. I guess it's out by the in comp. Target. All stations. Reporting the position of a strategic Vincent, I want you to come back towards this way a little bit. Yeah, I'm trolling that way. Incom's gonna be in my secondary range momentarily. I'll pick up speed, so. Bear, your secondaries aren't that important. I'd rather you stay in safe slinging main gun. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm turned out, so he's... Oh, okay. there's the Kremlin. In the mid. I'm just matching wide with that Napoli that I'm going to turn on him. There's nothing. The Kremlin's yep. up north. Petro, get on that Kremlin. Yeah. I'm going to try to spot that Kremlin for you guys. Keep an eye on both the Napoli uh, I could use Kremlin. a heal. Who's, who's first again? I forget. I'm third. Uh, 
I can. I can do it now. Blood spiller, you're on the kite. Go first. All right. I'll be next, and then somebody said they were third. I'll be third. Oh god, yeah, keep it Apple's coming. Turn in blood. He's turning on you. He's turning. Okay, I'm next. Yeah, he's coming right in at me now. Torx look well. They're gonna hit behind him. All right, but is Petro pushing that Kremlin? No, I just want your guns on okay. him. Because yeah. you have his broadside, basically. Yeah. You keep him from pushing up. Over uh, here, we're still on incomp. That was a 17k hit on that incomp. Oh, yeah, so Ripper, keep that incomp lit as much as you can, please. Shooting that, please. I see what you're doing, Otter. I like it. Hey, I I got that Napoli turned into me, so he sees me now. I got Torps going in on me. Right. Right, Who's next? Nine key. Uh, I can. Bear, use yours, please. Damon you next. Black, he pushed this Napoli off me. Yeah, I'm pushing. I shot him. I got his attention. Set him on fire. He DCP. Got Torps on him. Just keep him chasing you. He'll run right into those Torps. Okay. Sweet. Okay, he lost contact with me. Alright, good. Now he's on me. Secondaries are on me. My secondaries are on him. Incom, there's Zach on Incom. I'm on Incom. He is looking for me. Mm -hmm. I'm showing him a nice broadside. He doesn't want to take me back. Uh, Damon, uh, 9 key, please. Then Jimmy, you're next. Everything on this incom if we can, please. Jimmy, if you have shots on this incom, I'll take it too. Yeah, I just missed him. Incom is soft everywhere, so. Fuck, he's fast. He is. That's his own. Jimmy, go ahead, use yours. Got Who's next after that? Come on, cool down. Fuck. You got me. I've been hitting him because I don't shoot all my turrets at the same time. I'll just like Incomp's Back broad. Incomp. Yep. That might do. Blood. Blood, did he lose his battle out here? Yeah, he hit me with a couple of torps. Got lucky. Oh, and then I got... I had to watch what I was doing. I was too close to Kremlin. He was turning his guns at me. And I, I didn't... The Petro's, the Petro's getting me on radar. Okay, I'm using my 9 key. Who's next? Yeah. I might return the favor on my... 43 seconds. Nope. Okay. Uh, he's, eight, he's charging me behind me, so I gotta shoot him. I come back and see what you. Yeah. yeah you. Nine keys would be nice. I'm 20 seconds. Nine. nine keys, you got smoke? Mine. Using mine. No, I use my smoke to make this turn to run away. Yeah. Um, lead Napoli. Yeah, finish nap. Back on incomp. Roger. I have my nine ready when we need it. Go ahead, use it. Here, in comps hurt. Good job. Nice shots. So close to finishing. The enemy is 
about to win. Uh, okay, good. I, we win on one cap here. All right, we win on one cap. I'm going dark. Trying to, trying to run away here. Vincent, use your nine key right now. Yeah. Gotta break the smoke. And you broke yeah. the smoke. That's what my god. Everybody just run. Turn tail and run. Detect run. Got that field going. Oh, I'm gonna get him with a return favor on tour. Ah. I can't get him. I can't get dark, so I gotta shoot. Yeah, you're fine. <coughs> you got your super heal going, you're good. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. These guys are fucking. 30 throwing. seconds. 30 seconds. Three ships on my ass. Turn away here. Uh, Jimmy, nine key, please. Drag. Should be it. GG's, boys. Oh, give me congratulations a on the score. My torp should hit him. They lie now. You're dead. Oh, well. That is more Good game, yes. Yeah. The there. torp aiming. Sweet. <laughs> that was a chess match, wasn't it? That was All right, let's take a look at the replay and actually see actually um, what actually what really turned out and how the deployment set up. So you can see right there, you got the Marceau and Charlie Petro Napoli going out wide that we talked about and the basic setup right there. So me as the Colbert, I was out front and using speed boost. I mean, that speed boost really does help, especially to get the DDs out there real quick. And you know you got the caps because they're all cruisers anyways. Okay, so now we really don't know where they're pushing out. We have one Napoli going there, so we know that, okay, maybe they're they're doing a hard push Charlie. And you can see right there, we're opening fire already. Uh, so far at Alpha, not really seeing anything yet. We just see a Petro right there and that, that basic area. We're not really sure what they're going to do, and we're just kind of playing a little bit conservative. At the higher leagues, uh, you start seeing a lot of players that are just playing really conservative, just hanging out, making sure that each area is covered and being patient. And that's the difference of the, the gameplay style at even higher leagues I've seen. So right there we've got, okay, now we can see we've spotted the initial push right here. We have an incomparable Annapoli and an Annapoli. So this one is a problem right here. So we know they're going to do a hard flank push. Good thing we had the destroyer Colbert out there to make sure we can spot and keep tabs on them. Remember, communication and information, and you know, I, I'm in the industry of ISR, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, plays a huge part in uh, developing any kind of battle space awareness and so forth. So we have the Annapoli out there. We're noticing they have, okay, big push right there. We have the Kremlin in the center, just like we have a Kremlin in the center. So we have a one-on-one -on -one match right there. Petro will come support the Kremlin. Marceau's out spotting and keeping that Napoli at bay while we have another Napoli covering our flank. The biggest push we're, we're going to have to make sure that we handle right here is the Bravo sector, where you can see Kleber is spotting, keep, ten, continuously spotting and torping. So we're going to keep sending torpedoes right in while Napoli is uh, supporting the Kleber. St. Vincent will hold Alpha and see where that goes. We continue the play, and you can see right there, they're just going to have to push. Now, it's very scary as, you know, destroyers, I'm sorry, cruiser and battleship players to push into a, a retreating destroyer that can just torp like crazy. That is, if I had a Benham, man, this would be just a, a field day and having fun. And you can see how the battlefield... Um, Battlefield starts developing right here. Now, we had the Marceau come back and support. Again, this is the beautiful thing about having fast destroyers that can come in from Charlie. This was our second backup plan that once we found out where the hard push is, it was a Bravo Alpha push, we can bring Charlie team and come from the rear into Bravo and secure it in case we lose Alpha right there, which we currently are losing. And you can see we have that matchup right here. We have Colbert supporting Napoli, pushing back at there, as you saw in the video. St. Vincent supporting and firing backwards. Napoli in retreat using secondaries to take on this first one. And Kremlin fire, uh, is firing on Napoli as well. This is crucial in communication, where you're, and especially in today's clan battles, we're using consumables and minefields, where you, you know putting minefields in front of big, pushing uh, large groups so that slows them down. You also have to coordinate how to use those heels. Like, hey, it's time to use one team heel. Team heel up, number one. Then team heel two, number up. And, and you start using that in succession to keep all your health pulls alive. I think that's what a lot of teams are doing these days to keep a lot of these pushes going, especially I've seen other uh, groups using these speed booth, uh, team speed boosts, where it pushes everybody forward really fast, and they're kind of doing this full hard linebacker push right through the middle of a cap. So it's very, very effective. 
Right now, we're trying to take out the first Napoli right now. They're doing a hard push. Look at the, look at this line right here. This is a very effective line, uh, and, and it's, I mean, very difficult to defend against. You have a Kremlin, a Petro, and a Napoli right here in the su southern sector, uh, or I guess you could say northern sector of Bravo, southern sector of our flank. And really, we're using every single person to just deflect off of these guys right here. And it really was a difficult time. But eventually, we get torpedoes, and or and not, and look at the the the, um, the timer, the score up there. It is eight ninety four to six eighty four. Basically, we have this in two minutes and 21 seconds. So although this is an effective push, we just have to kill one of their ships to just reduce that time even more. And we already, since the early push allowed us to cap those points right off the bat, we were able to take up points early, giving us this kind of, uh, you know, less, I would say, less stressful opportunity where all we have to do, the burden is on them to destroy and capture points. While we, all we have to do is destroy one of their ships. There goes one of their ships. You can see the points take down in our, uh, in their, or, I'm sorry, points take up in our favor, and it reduces that time. As you can see, a minute 12 now. So all we have to do is just hold out and see how the the, uh, the match end turns out. Now, we lose our one of our battleships, which takes us down a little bit more. But now uh, we all we have to do is take out one of their ships, and it brings it down right there. We just take out their incomparable, and it brings us back into a level playing field. Now, the burden, again, is on them, and it's very, very difficult right there. All you got to do is win on points. So that's how that uh, battle turned out. I'll let you take a look at the build I had on the Kleber at the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and uh, what are your thoughts? But we'll take a look at a um, another video uh, that shows us a loss and how that the Napoli push actually turned out to be effective. All right, team. This is the uh, map north, I believe, and this is really the one that uh, had the Napoli push where we do lose. And the initial position, we'll just talk about it before we take a look at the replay, is uh, in essence the again three the double Marceau. Uh, I'm oh, sorry, double French DD that is, and use the speed to push down into Charlie and cap that right off the bat. We have the other uh, French destroyer going cap alpha and going wide to spot. We have one uh, cruiser to support Charlie, and then the main bulk of the fleet was thinking about an Alpha Bravo push and just kind of seeing where they're at because we know there's a heavy push. We're not really sure where it's going to come from. And then, of course, you have the initial cruisers, one cruiser supporting the destroyer out wide while we either have another radar cruiser somewhere in the middle here. And then the battleships really are just lingering uh, in the home cap area, one battleship being able to support both Alpha and Charlie, and then another battleship to support and maybe a potential push out to the west. So the idea would be potentially you have a destroyer push out to the west spotting or capping or we have an egress route back out marceau goes in and caps um captures the point using island cover and then egresses back out to, and, and encircles the area to come back and retreat while we have another push charlie right there i'm sorry bravo with a cruiser there and two battleships to support any kind of small movement right there it's more of a containment to see where alpha charlie is again at the higher leagues i've noticed it's just more patient more and, and analyzing the battlefield to figure out where would that actual push come from so um short of the video it wasn't really a, um a, in, in my personal perspective a very engaging video but let's take a look at you know what the render actually uh, de determined and looked like and sorry that's the wrong one let's take a look at which one it was here we go this is the replay right there all right let's take a look at actually how this map turned out all right so you can see initial positioning right there marceau marceau one cap okay so we you can see the initial push right there marceau rushes in to take on the charlie cap and again they only have one destroyer to work with so we're thinking hey let's if we have two marceau gunboat dds we can really bully this destroyer really really effectively first napoli we spot right there so we think that there might be a heavy push charlie so that's where we're refocusing and thinking about and marceau will bug out napoli's holding in the back here to contain petro has got the radar so to keep that uh more of the surveillance area right here in the middle to make sure we're not going to get overrun or spot or at least giving us situation awareness their destroyers out to the the west there so we're going to keep that destroyer out uh out at bay and keep the marceau containing that destroyer so they don't push our flank and flank us from the west napoli will go in and support saint vincent will be in tow to uh, provide any fire support clement is holding home cap to make sure we contain any kind of middle push right there Two Napolis on the eastern flank right there. Marceau will not engage. That is just too much right there to deal with. So basically a full retreat and then sending the torpedoes. And I want to see actually what they actually did, did to uh, do a very effective push. And look at that right there. We have one, two, three Napolis doing a heavy push. They did a very effective job going through the middle outside in, inverse, or I'm sorry, in, 
outside inside flank. So they went on the outside flank and then pushed right through the gap right there, having another Napoli, Napoli to spot and give them situational awareness while they go ahead and push in three Napolis. Very, very difficult to defend against. Petro, nose in, very difficult to kill. And then you have a nose in Kremlin as well. Very difficult to kill right there. We had to be but we thought since they're pushing Charlie, we could advance the St. Vincent and Kremlin with the Petro in support and then the Napoli with the Marceau in tow pushing into the western flank of Bravo. But it determined to be a very difficult right there with Kremlin just basically nailing us right there, taking that shot out from the Easter uh, flank right there. We have a Montana back here being smoked up, so very, very difficult to push into. And of course, St. Vincent's being focused on a Montana. You have a Petro and a Kremlin shooting three versus one. This is where our mistake happened right here. We're losing one of our ships, and then now our St. Vincent is by himself and then gets torped right off the bat from a Kleber. Very deadly right there. I love Kleber for that reason, especially the legendary upgrade. You can really go in and do sneak at, uh, torp attacks right there. This was a basically a big mistake on our part, just sending in a battleship without any kind of destroyer support. I was out in the flank too much, thinking that the Kleber was trying to push uh, us out, but it actually turned out that they went and regrouped at Bravo. So this was a too much of an aggressive push because we thought the bulk of their force was at Charlie. And of course, right there, Marceau Napoli, just unable to stop this Napoli push right there. Radar goes active, spotting me, which then deters me and runs away. Therefore, I cannot be a support of any kind. And then, of course, the Napoli pushes right up the middle. And let's see what happens here. Petro, yep, Petro is getting oh, flanked right there. Kremlin's pushing the Kremlin. Petro's taking me on. I mean, this was just a coordinated attack, right push up the up the center right there. They, in turn, look at the points right there. They're ahead on points by taking the two caps. Marceau may take Charlie at the end, but unfortunately, the points are it's just too big of a gap right there. And as you can see, it's just uh, very, very, you can see the points just ticking up. Marceau getting fo focused. I mean, they just engulfed Alpha right there. And unfortunately, we were able to support and that is the game. So uh, let me know your thoughts. I mean, that's a team using their uh, ability to do the Napoli push and how they actually deployed it. And uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, appreciate all the support. Like, subscribe, button below. At the end of the video, there is the uh, my Kleber build uh, for the previous video, as you can see uh, earlier. But as always, thanks you guys for supporting the channel. Let me know your thoughts, and you guys take care. Say hi to me when you see out when you see me out there. Take care. Be safe. Cheers.